So I'm here with Joy Mola, and we're um, looking. You know, Joy, this I want your viewpoint on this campaign we're running to try and raise awareness of the importance of good facial development Mm -hmm. at a young age and, you know, how we can try and, you know, prevent. Because, you know, my goal here is prevention. And, of Mm -hmm. course, you teach people exercises. Well, we call them therapeutic techniques. Cool. Therapeutic, yeah. And it's more than just exercises. It's uh, a whole lifestyle changes that we try to... You know, now with working with Kevin quite a bit, Kevin Boyd is mm. looking at pregnant women and trying to, um, first of all, motivate them to breastfeed exclusively. Uh, I was fortunate enough in my career to spend, um, well, she's actually one of my best friends uh, with Shelley Marmet, and she's the lady who pioneered and conceptualized the whole field of lactation in the world. Mm. So she basically did what I did. She ran around and started Ibilsi, the the, the uh, lactation consulting field. And um, she taught me a lot about the importance of breastfeeding. She, her background was speech pathology and her husband is an OBGYN and her son's a pediatrician. So she really coached me on why it's so important to prevent this for, uh, you know, helping people end the problems. And the only way we're going to do it is by collaboration. Yes. And so I think your idea of prevention, I'm on board thousand percent. I think it's fabulous. Yeah. I think to make the public aware of what is going on with children's airways, we have to do it quickly. Yeah. Because it's early. changing. Uh, quickly uh, to look at early intervention. Yeah, with, with, with simple, we said, as you said, simple lifestyle changes right. at a young age, mm-hmm. I think, could prevent these problems. Well, it could minimize. I wouldn't say prevent. Yeah, I'd say we've got genetics. We've got you know the toxins clearly, in the you know, environment. Is, we've yeah. got a whole bunch of. But if we can prevent some and minimize, yes, all. minimize, minimize, and of course, clearly, you know, you you lead on to the genetic angle. I think that what binds us all together here is the belief that there's a considerable environmental element. Mm-hmm. You know, I would say a very large environmental element. You know, our, our ancestors didn't have these problems. No. Well, we were, we were, we had different uh, chemicals used to kill weeds. And, well, yeah, and, lifestyle and, is different. And, and it's the toxins, the plastics, the, yep. the radiation, the and EMFs. I mean, the, the list goes on and yeah, on. Yeah, but also an open mouth posture, uh-huh. um, mouth breathing, which is associated with this. N- nobody really um, recognized that. No, as but a they're problem. not seeing that. And of course, they still parents, don't. parents, yeah, they still don't. And parents have no idea about this. No, and yeah, I think they that have that's, open mouth posture. Yes, they, and they so don't they see think any it's issue. It's normal. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I see, you know, what I call downswung faces. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. All the time. You yeah, know, yeah. Yeah, and the whole thing. Down yeah. down. I mean, I remember on a lecture years ago, um, someone saying, well, his face has just melted away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I just see these. It, 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 it upsets me, deeply upsets me. You know, I get on. I, I think we all get upset. The street we and all I understand get upset. These, all these faces look just melted away. Mm-hmm. You know, not one, but another and another and another. And I believe it's all preventable. And I believe, you know, the, the, the syndrome I call craniofacial dystrophy, I think we're looking at the fact that um, malocclusion, sleep apnea, um, you know, bad head and neck posture, um, a range of different problems is all related to the same underlying condition, this change in craniofacial form. I agree. And I think awareness has to be first. You know, um, Maslow had this hierarchy of how to make change and... Uh, you have to have awareness and relate it to ourself and our mm. family and then take the next step to what can we do to change that? What can we do? And I think we all need to come together to collaborate yeah. because I think there's power in numbers and yes. I think there's also power in not throwing darts at each other. Yeah because the darts are missing the point of the whole preventive Mm. aspect of this. We have to all work together and support each other and support this 
uh, education of people on a, on a real basic level, because breathing and chewing and swallowing are critical, critical yeah. but, to But health. these are the things that if you teach someone at a really young age, it, it's not difficult. No, it's easy. It, it's easy. Especially now we have technology. Yeah. We have uh, YouTube here. Yeah, yeah. You know? it's just not we it's have, just, but people need to know about it. Yes, they're, they're learning. Yeah, they're learning. Mommy but still, and me blogs. Uh, uh, still, as as much work as you, me, Mark, and all of us have done, we're still getting to a small percentage. I know. Public health is one aspect that yeah. we might be able to get some help but the, from. But this is, this is the angle of attack. So yeah. here we're looking to, to approach public, to get Public Health England to acknowledge the fact that good crania, craniofacial development is important. Mm-hmm. And at young ages, parents should have this information. Absolutely. And if we're going to get, we, we, we're looking to make a petition to government. If we get a petition to government, then we move forwards on the, um, well, we get, it, it, we get, we get governmental change. And once you get governmental change, you're going to get the spotlight of in, in interest, investment and change. Correct. Correct. I know that's where we want to go. And we, we, we're not, you know, it's very important that we're not, I'm not saying any one treatment is the way forwards. I'm saying there seems to be some sort of lifestyle change. Of course, it massively swings towards my functional therapy because that is the type of programs and the type of education I think that parents should be listening to. Yeah, well, years ago, I worked in the States, uh, in California, with a public health team that um, we, we went into the schools and we educated, uh, first of all, the teachers, but also K through six. And uh, we would f- focus in, I, I had, I think, three 40-minute appointments with all the children at the schools and we targeted low-income areas. These kids uh, rarely even went to the dentist, much mm. less orthodontist. So I would talk about how important it is to have a beautiful smile. What do you need a smile for? Yeah. You know, to make friends, right? And how do you how do you have that beautiful mm. smile? Uh, and and my, my area was preventive orthodontics, yeah. and that's what I did. And so you know, we we started out just getting a, a, a lip seal. How important yeah. it is yeah. to breathe to through your nose. Sit up straight and shut your mouth. Mm-hmm. And this is like hardly a new idea. Sit like you're riding a horse. Put yeah. both feet flat on the floor, yep. and your back doesn't touch the back of the chair. Yeah. And, and then hopefully straight. elbows off the seat, the and table yes. as well. And then and you know, and we, why do you need Pilates closed. when you're doing this? The lips are closed because you get a hundred times and more you, oxygen when you breathe. You were, through you your were nose. there three times. Three times. Yeah, enough. three times. And at the end of that one school year, it was amazing the changes I mm. got. And I took snap pictures of... When you were allowed to in those days. Yeah. And, oh, yeah, when we were allowed. But, you know, the, the kids would tell me, look, my, my yes. tooth is not sticking out yeah. anymore. Yeah, with a young age, it's amazing. I'm, it's amazing I'm what sleeping better. Will do. And, of course, to educate teachers, to perpetuate teachers, these lessons... because of the school this, work. Yeah, it's, yeah because they're there so all the critical. time. So critical. And the cost is minimal. And the loss of school from illness, too. Yeah. You know, when uh, you're breathing through your mouth, you know, I would teach Well, you I, yeah, oh, my, you know, one of my pet theories is that, you know, if you're not, if you, if you breathe in your mouth, you're, you're not processing the allergens properly. Yeah. And this is one of the reasons for this epidemic. One of the reasons yeah, for this epidemic in allergens. Yeah, epidemic of allergens. And yeah. And I mean, you know, this been, certainly hasn't been disproved. No, no, you know, the, the medication so, used is not joy. that good. No, no, no I'm, I'm not a fan of I all mean, this medication. The, the antibiotics know, over and over and over oh, again. It's yeah, making yeah. our And then our antihistamines, yeah. um, the, the sort inhalers, of inhalers. Yeah. Um, you know, the list goes on. The, the on. kids are walking to school like a walking pharmacy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, when, when they I go, was at school, when, they're, when, they're when, when, when I was at school, I was the asthmatic at school. Really? The one asthmatic in my year. Now, how many kids are asthmatic? Mm-hmm. And it, it, anyway, Joy, to the subject. So, we need a campaign. It's good to have you on board. I'm on board. We need to have some sort of um, preventive strategy, and we need to work out what's the best. And we're not we're not uh, recommending any form of treatment. You know, the, the form of treatment. We need to work out what's the best form of treatment. Yeah, I think just 
focusing on the tongue up and the lips closed and preventative program. And chewing, you know, yeah. the power Simple. of And this can all be chewing. implemented on the public health level and I, I would like to see this in schools. Mm-hmm. And I would like to see the, the side of education. We're teaching our kids how to brush their teeth. Well, why aren't we telling them how to do the posture correctly? Yeah, we teach them how to eat. We teach them how to eat. We, uh, we should be teaching them more how to eat. Uh, well, it's the way they eat. Yes, They need yes. to learn that they have to, instead of eating the applesauce, even the unsweetened applesauce, they need to bite into the apple and chew yeah, it. Some of some consistency. Yeah and, and, yeah, and chew it well with your lips closed and when you swallow, no tension, yeah. which is a very simple thing to teach it's, 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 children. It's, 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 yes, and as I and, say, do it at a young age, it becomes mm-hmm. a habit. And if they breathe through their nose, they'll be able to chew more because if they're breathing through their mouth, they're not going to want to chew. Mm. So then they eat the soft foods, and the more soft foods, the more their face melts away. Melts like what you said. Cool. Okay, Joy, listen. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah. Thank oh, you for welcome. taking the time. Thank All you right. for doing this. <laughs> That's okay. Pleasure. <laughs>